What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 175 through 178. I am very, very excited to continue Skypea. NL's doing his own thing. Robin's doing her own thing. We got a lot. We're, looks like we're starting to build up to the climax of this arc, the saga. So I'm very excited. Like I said, don't forget to check out the Patreon. If you guys want early access and the full uncut versions up to eight episodes ahead, don't forget to subscribe, click the bells so you know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's hop right on into it. One Piece, episode 175. Let's do it. All right, so immediately in the chopper, climbing the beanstalk. That is a very good point. Imagine if chopper found the gold. If I had to assume that's a uh, Ohm, yep, and Akamaru. I guess his name is Holy. I didn't know his name, but I call him Akamaru. Are we gonna have my boy Chopper fighting two of the ordeals by himself? Like, how is this even gonna work? Is that one of the other three people who made it up here today? I'm assuming it's a Shandian. <laughs> That's my pet dog, Holy, as the religious priest. Imagine naming your dog Holy. I mean, certain perspectives on life, you know, of man's nature. There's one path to salvation. What would that be? Mr. Ohm. Okay. Okay. He's one of those religious lunatics who will offer you salvation by killing you, literally. And here we go. You will do and desire nothing. Meanwhile, we got that boy Wiper. Oh, Lucky. Yeah, I was under the assumption that Kamakiri died last episode, but no, or a few episodes ago, but he is still at least alive, which is good. This might be one of those rare circumstances where I agree with Kamakiri. Like, how do you, a smoker, I have troubles beating, and, you know, this man's literal lightning. He's invincible. I hope Kamakiri, Wiper, and the rest of the Shandians make it out okay. That's how you know it's not a good sign. The Rumble Rumble? Is that what it was called? Mm. Luffy is still in this goddamn snake. Correct me if I'm wrong, but how do snakes, do snakes take shits? They have to lay eggs through some sort of orifice at the bottom of, right? I thought we would feel some after shakes or aftershocks or rumbling after that. Yeah, like this, like the body reacting to that shock on the inside. <laughs> okay. Who knows what's going on? My man Chopper is just dipping. Understandably, too. I assume Chopper's gonna get some help. But if not, if somehow Chopper can deal with Ohm, too, dealing with two of the ordeals is kind of crazy. As soon as we can regroup, I have a lot more higher hopes for everyone. What the hell? Did he just cut? Cho, what? How? With a survival rate of 0%. The iron ordeal. This man, oh, I swear. What the hell? Was that the snake Luffy is inside of? Was that it swallowing water? I have seen a video of snakes drinking water. They literally just drink it like a human. <laughs> I love the little, like, sideburny beard look it has, you know? In the brushes and the jungle. That has to be the snake Luffy's in. Come on. 
let us out and let's regroup right now. I mean, what are you gonna do in this situation? I'd be just flying off too. I'm not gonna get eaten by that snake. Cutting back to some more of the divine fights going on. Shandians versus warriors. The Lord of the Sky. Obviously, he recognizes Isa. Did those two get swallowed? <laughs> Talk about a bonding moment. Both escaping the Lord of the Skies together. And you guys are separated from Connie and Pagaya now. We have so much shit going on. That is a really big snake. I can't even lie. Luffy just needs to get the hell out of it. Yeah, there's a, a way we can uh, work out from this. If we drop its food, it's Bento, aka Zoro. Now that's my boy Wiper, right? Yes, indeedy. With that mantra, he could just tell, and then just the immediate that slash does look pretty damn cool. His, his sword slash. Donfall. Donfall is joining in on the fray as well. Can't forget Pierre. It was utterly destroyed. Did NL destroy it before he left? Because I don't think Gonfall would have done that. I don't think anyone else has been up there. Talk about a landing. Talk about a coincidence. We got Gonfall, Ohm, Wiper, and Zoro. And Chopper, but Chopper's fucked up. Talk about sword users, Ohm v Zoro. Come on, come on with the music playing. That is such a cool shot for the most badass dudes. And now we got the motherfucking Lord of the Skies flying through the clouds, almost up the beanstalk as well. Look at this showdown. Oh, the snake guy didn't made it up as well. Luffy could join this fray. I would be down. I would be down, down, down. All right, on to the next episode. This is 176. Yes, what was prophesied? We need some money. Okay. So Zoro's gonna handle the snake. <laughs> Gonfall and Pierre are gonna handle Ohm. Yeah, that's a valid point. That snake is fucking something else. I need my man Luffy to make it out of the snake, bro. He's been in here for episodes. I get it, <laughs> Wiper. I really do. You got a lot on your mind. You got a lot of shit to do, but come on, man. You can see like an enemy of my enemy is like an alliance, you know, an ally. No skin off my back. I would love for us to be cool with each other and, you know, fight together, but I guess not. Can't always get what we want. Yeah, we gotta knock this snake out. We gotta get Luffy out of it. <laughs> so we can have an acidic venom. Huh. Meanwhile, we got Ohm right behind us. We got so much shit to deal with right now. Okay, throwing paws. Who are you feeling like, Mike Tyson? Bipedal and even boxing. Like what kind of trainer, motherfucker? Imagine you take your dog to fucking pet code trainer. He's like, I got you. Come back, motherfucker's like, what's up, owner? Starts fucking squaring up with you. Like what? 
This battle has been going on. So we're all converging on the jack, on the, the beanstalk. The giant jack is what they call it. And uh, it makes like a perfect set piece for everyone to be gathering up. I love how she can see that. It's all shadowed. It's not detailed, you know, but she can hear that. That's super cool. That mantra, you know. Look over and see Chopper. Talk about some motivation. Some anger being built up. Yes, I know. My boy got fucked up. Yeah, we gotta beat we gotta beat Ohm's ass. Is it like a trap with a iron barb defense? Oh god. I mean I've had bar I've seen barbed wire in real life. It doesn't look that crazy. That barbed wire looks I mean it does, but those spikes just look zoomed in. Partially defeated by me, partially defeated by the environment. Because he was just repeatedly running, you know? So, it would make sense he would hit a trap or two and get stabbed up. Not the vengeance style. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get some whoop ass going. I'm not glad that Chopper's injured, but I'm glad his injury is against some motivation for us. Uh, the Straw Hats always have faith in each other. Always love that. We always have these, like, especially in these arcs, have these temporary people that help us out, join this crew, make good friends with us. You know, last time it was Vivi. This time it's a little different, but it is Connie, Simpagaya. And I, I thoroughly enjoy these, these side characters a lot that are just, like, friends we've, we've gathered along the way. Yep, Satori. Everyone we've fucking beaten ass and walking past right now on our way up to the end of the climax. Kamakiri. Wow, we actually have lost a lot of warriors so far. Some of you guys told me, I'm trying to remember specifically who, because you guys told me more than just the one I'm, ones I'm remembering, but you guys told me NL's voice actor is Bondrude from Made in Abyss, which I totally recognize, but the biggest one I would say is Julius from Black Clover, and I'm like, oh my god, now that I, I literally just heard it right there, it is so much Julius, I love it. But like a scary, not giving a... There will be five survivors, not giving a fuck Julius. I love Julius and Black Clover. I get where uh, Wiper's coming from. I really do. But Gonfall is trying to help out right now. He's doing his best. You guys played God of War 2018. There's a snake in there that has like ruins and stuff in his mouth that you can go inside as well. And it reminds me of that. Was that the iron? Was that more barbed wire? Was that? Was that a sword? What is that? Behind Ohm. Uh-huh. He has a fluid stretching sword. Is that the Gummo Gummo sword? Iron clouds. Light as a cloud, hard as iron. I see. That is just not fair. It's like a whip sword. I'll handle Zoro. You go handle Wiper. We got Locky and the warriors chasing after her up there. And some more Shandians and shit. Yep. He's like, God damn, my fucking throat itches. What is that? <laughs> He's like tickling from the inside. Shut up. That's not what I was expecting. Now we got Nami and the rest of everyone. Oh my God, we're all converging up here. Okay, that's the only thing that's gonna get us to work together somewhat. Gonfall, Wiper, and Zoro is our friends, Nami and Isa, being in danger together. So shouts out to temporary teamwork. How are you gonna say get away from that woman, give her like a second and then just shoot, Wiper? What the fuck? 
Yeah, a huge snake that's already up here. Yep. Great. Great. Snake's like, damn, this is the hardest meal I've ever had to work for. And just like Luffy, Gonfall, Pierre, Nami, Isa are all falling down in the cave. The cave. All right, on to the next episode, episode 177. Ten people. Everyone keeps saying that. What does that mean? Shot the arrow at home, missed because he was distracted from the... Oh, wow. Talk about an arrow. From the Divine Warrior jumping him. This is what I'm feeling like for this arc. Time to get into the climax. You know what I'm saying? We got boxing dogs over here. Oh, my God. He's throwing hands. Oh, my God. Talk... Is he making like a fence? And trapping them all in there, closing off their escapes? Goddamn Spider-Man. Death match. It's like a cage match. I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of playtime. Yeah. In other words, they didn't want to show it, but you could have died from that. All right. Dome. 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 Eight people, two animals. We got to everyone wrapped up in this goddamn fence and because of that you must save him too and on wiper side ice is also in there so let's go save our people please look at a young wiper and young locky that's so interesting to me I'm just trying to picture Skypeans like just taking their land, you know? Oh, oh Kamakiri, uh, Bram, Gembo, look at all them. So they've been a squad since childhood. That makes it a little more sad, you know, a little more touching, right? When you get scenes like that, you know, Kamakiri standing up for his friend, standing up for Locky, you know? A lot, it's a lot more emotional depth to it. All right, so now Locky is joining the fray, climbing up the giant jack. Talking about how impossible NL is to fight. I was not expecting him to show up right here. You guys said in the comments that he's based off Eminem's. Like, his design is based off Eminem. And it's so funny, because I see it so much. <laughs> That's a real hot coffee pot. Yeah, he is. It does not matter how much pain he's going through right now. He is. If Lockie dies right now, I'll be shocked. You know, it's just going to be two lightning transparent holes through him, you know. Exactly. It's like, what do you do? He's just tanking that? He does not even care. Is that implying to us that he just killed Locky? I'm saying, I'm hoping it's the same as Kamakiri. I don't even know if Kamakiri's dead, man. And just like that, comes in, bodies Locky, and just dips. Leaves the rest to own. That was Zoro's first time seeing him, yep. Kami-sama. I love this song when they play it. 
don't stand in my way come on guys let's take a temporary break we got holy coming and throwing paws we can finally get a reunion between nami and luffy in the middle of a snake's acidic stomach look at that stomach acid <laughs> that's the boy luffy coming through <laughs> if there's someone who i'd like to meet him you're about to oh no who's walking up on us it's gotta be someone insane uh-oh <laughs> weird old man he's like it's been so long i've been trapped in here forever <laughs> funny funny he's like i'm not usa <laughs> he's our leader <laughs> that's what i was saying let's look for its ass He's like, I wonder why. Gum gum bazooka. Just starts beating his ass from the inside again. Of course, of course. I cannot believe how many times they just fall down that, that stomach even further. Oh, he's tilted. He's pissed. Talk about a headshot. Yes, weird night, Nami. Please stay okay. We still got Ohm to deal with. God damn it. See a lot of anime characters who lift up their glasses with their middle finger. I want to be cool like them, you know? All right, on to the last episode of the session, 178. I mean, ideally, we'd like to handle the snake first. But uh, I think we have to deal with Ohm first. I mean, I th we can have Wiper hold off the snake while we uh, deal with Ohm, maybe. What is yeah, we don't want them to melt and die. Oh, I was about to say, he's probably right behind you. <laughs> Knowing an anime, you know. One. I'm ready for a dope Zoro moment, some, some coolness, you know. I can already see RTTV reacting to this right now. Rob being like, come on, on beat Zoro, bitch ass. I hate Zoro. <laughs> oh, I love them. That sword is too dope. An iron cloud, flexible, heat seeking sword. Yeah, that's the weirdest part about Ohm is his goddamn sunglasses, to be honest. Just like that, we're down to four people. Hawk wave. You can turn it into an iron wall. That's so OP. It's like if the green lantern was in one piece you know he'd probably turn into a hammer too a fan i know a lot of the abilities and the attacks in this show have a lot of real life uh easter eggs and history you know like um robin's attacks being italian crocodiles being spanish what are ice what does ice and mean ice and whip ice and floors what does all that mean 36 caliber phoenix that was close maybe we need to do a three sword cell maybe it was like if that's 36 i don't know what number did he just do you gotta do like a 64 it's like eight trigrams yeah i forgot about that that is a good valid point for tracking 
and being able to always chase your target. It's pretty OP. Oh, that's a good sign. Usually when he puts the bandana on, we're getting into the surpass limits mode. I'll never pray to God. Him and religion don't really mix, you know what I'm saying? You guys also told me in the comments that uh, when it comes to the 36 worldly desires, I forget what religion it is. Is it Buddha? You guys told me there's, uh, there's so many historical and real life references in the show what does he mean when he says 36 worldly desires and now the present holds 72 which he did the 36 order phoenix a second ago a future will hold 108 okay eight trigram style shit 108 caliber phoenix oh my god i don't even know what the fuck that that means or just happened but zoro is the goat 108 caliber phoenix that shit tore my man oh my new one two people left and two animals right but we were just talking about i say come on come on that was out gonfall tanking a fucking boulder of debris to his back for isa make a little cushion for everyone bonky 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 obviously isa still mistrustful of their old enemy understandable Yes, he is correct on that. There is more that needs to be done. What they need is reparations. Imagine how long that would take. That's like some uh, Hohenheim, Full Metal Alchemist shit. Saying, apologizing one by one to each of the Shandians. Starting with Isa. A lot of deep needed discussion right here. A lot of conversations, you know, very emotionally charged. I get it. This is rough. This is hard. A lot going through Ice's mind right now, you know. He's going to stab the floor or next to him. Oh, Luffy stopped it. You really went for it. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I just realized we haven't seen Robin in the last, like, whole, this whole sesh. This is the first time we've seen her this whole sesh. What is a belfry? I know they're talking about the golden bell, right? I can't wait to see this fucking real poneglyph, all that. Everything. Every, there's so much to this show. I can't wait to see. I see NL behind you. There's something about anime apples, they always fucking sound good. It took them several months to find these ruins, and it took Robin two days. So then the golden bell, which would lead to the Poneglyph and all that info is still out there. Yeah. Curious what a bell, bell is a bell fry or belfry? Rang throughout the entire nation. Oh, so it's definitely there. The island's singing voice. Interesting. <laughs> he hears a maggot at the edge of the island. Anytime I hear this song, I feel like I'm waking up in the military at 4 a.m., you know? Oh, what? We're going on a jog? Imagine Pagaya with the strap, the bazooka. Just be like, you motherfucker! 
That'd be crazy. I mean, without that one instance of you guys betraying us, which I don't really blame you for, you guys have been nothing but cool. I always love you guys. We got Sue, come on. Let us know something's up. Come on. Who made it? Is it a Shandian? No, he's a divine warrior. Yeah. Okay. What does that mean? Ooh. Are we talking some Sokovia Avengers uh Age of Ultron style shit? What are we what are we talking about here? Oh, so that's what he heard. He heard this m maggot at the edge of the island, so eliminate everyone living in the sky. So he's blabbering about NL's plan, so NL now has to kill him. I hope Sue and Pagai are cool. Or Connie and Pagai and Sue. Arc like Noah's Ark? What are we talking about here? The flying ship. Yeah, guys, please let me know the religious and actual historical references and context in this right now. There's no way that they're getting smited and just Pagaya is going to die after just talking about wanting to show hospitality. But I mean, I guess Connie's now knows about the plan with the flying arc and the dropping of Sokovia and oh no. <sighs> ah. <sighs> so I don't know if they're dead. So I'm going to wait for confirmation before I give them the official dapper RIP. But I'm going to give a temporary one to Kamakiri, Laki and Pagaya. I don't know. All of them could be okay. <laughs> could just be Pagaya that died. But God, man, we're ugh, NL. He's doing an Age of Ultron. He's going to be dropping Skypea onto the blue sea, but has his boat that will allow him to fly. And can, I, I need to know what motivation there is for that, though. Like, What does he gain from that? Why? I'm so curious. Great episodes. I'm loving. I'm not loving that Chopper is like super injured. I was hoping Chopper would have to 1v1 Ohm again and do it. You know what I'm saying? But now we got Zoro and Ohm. Still got to deal with this goddamn snake. Still got to deal with Wiper. Still got to deal with NL. We have actually like. That's one thing I'm thoroughly enjoying, especially as our squad gains more and more crew members, the Straw Hats. We can genuinely have some Game of Thrones style storylines where they are interconnected and woven together but not super connected at all you know like uh luffy was kind of on him on his own for a few episodes there robin still on her own nami was doing her own thing zoro was doing his own thing Oops, up and you know what i'm saying it's like and then they seamlessly just tie them all together and it fits so really perfectly well done but it's just i love how we can have we can have our own individual story threads and, and you know plot lines going on it's really cool i'm enjoying the hell out of this though and people are saying this is like one of the worst arcs so like that's all I'm saying is if I'm enjoying this, can't wait for the future. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Uh, other than that, check out that Patreon, all that jazz. Oh, I don't even know what button I just hit on my keyboard. Don't forget to drink some water. <laughs> Tell someone you love them. Uh, have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.